my Aquarians out there. So let's get into it. So you have the cards, the cards that I come up with are, oh, by the way, I am available to do personal readings today. Consider coming through, getting a, a reading from me, right? Um, and I'm also gonna explain my services and stuff like that that's on the channel in different videos because they're all very important, right? And they're all, if you ask me, and I could be wrong about this, but they're all needed. It's all mandatory. And I'll explain why in different videos. So you have the Four of Pentacles. You have the Nine of Wands, the Ace of Cups, the uh, the uh, Page of Swords, the uh, Five of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, the Justice, the Six of Cups, the Eight of Cups, and last but not least, you have the Wheel of Fortune. So obviously, y'all already know what the Six of Cups means. Someone's coming back, but let's create conversation and context around this. So the Four of Pentacles, uh, Nine of Wands, Ace of Cups, excuse me. These all represent how a lot of you uh, Aquarians, right? Um, you, you Aquarians are busy. Happy birthday, by the way. Shout outs to y'all. Um, y'all been having a lot of, a lot of Aquarians been showing me love. Appreciate y'all. And Cancers too. Appreciate y'all Cancers who's watching this too. But um, if you're watching this, but the Four of Pentacles is about how you essentially you have a lot going on um, and you don't necessarily have time to really deal with people who are not going to show you any kind of respect, which is good because it means that you're most definitely on the right track. The Nine of Wands and the, and the Ace of Cups represents this person who is eventually going to come back seeing you not trip about them because they have not gotten any kind of calls from you, right? Their phone is not blowing up. And as a result of this, they're actually getting kind of bent out of shape because they're worrying, they're worrying about how, why it's not, why the games aren't working with you and how people need to, you know, bend to their will type of thing, as opposed to working together as a team. Now, the Page of Swords and the uh, Five of Pentacles, these two both represent how now you walking away is a good idea and staying away from them. But the Page of Swords represents how you need to also understand that ultimately don't walk away with a grudge. Right. And if you're going to if you're going to say you're not going to hang out with them anymore, you need to put yourself in a position, my my dear Aquarians, where you're not going to ever hang out with them ever again. Because remember, these are the people, when you refer back to the Nine of Wands and Ace of Cups, they want you to get on their program. That's not going to work. So, and then you have the Page of uh, Pentacles, the Justice, and then you have the uh, Six of Cups. So these three cards, these three cards are about how a lot of you... Um, Aquarians, right? Some of you, the Page of Pentacles, some of you Aquarians may be hoping or you would have been hoping for this relationship to to uh, to to uh, come back, right? This person would see the light, okay? That you were good for them and that maybe they would come back. Don't do that. Because if these people are abusive, if these people are disrespectful, and from what I'm seeing, they are, they actually want you to come back and they want you to come back groveling on your hands and your knees. You don't want to do all that. A lot of you Aquarians should have a lot more self-respect and dignity than that. Then you have the Eight of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. Now, the Eight of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune represent how this is a situation for a lot of y'all where um, if this is going to be the case, this is about how a lot of you Aquarians uh, need to leave these people alone 100%. So there's something that has to essentially spiritually be 86 or gotten rid of within you for you to be able to be happier because these people are, they're never going to treat you right. And then the thing is that the will of fortune is, is that you will see that because once you leave all these parasites, which is essentially what they are alone, 
you're going to start to see a whole lot of doors open for you. So all, all of you Aquarians who do a lot hustling and bustling, y'all got to Y'all wear different hats. Y'all got a lot of things going on. You're going to start to see all of these different doors open for you once you stop hanging out with these people. So let's clarify the Wheel of Fortune. The Emperor, Hangman, <laughs> Nine of Swords. So the Emperor taking control of your own existence, taking responsibility. A lot of times people don't like taking responsibility. Well, responsibility equals power. And I may explain that in the video. So the things that the hangman represents how um, the hangman is leaving all the people who are on some BS behind and not rocking with those people anymore and basically putting them on ice. But the but the nine of swords represents don't think that you are the one who are who is down in this position. You're the one who's up. Trust me. It's just the uh, illusion that this person is having a good time because they should be coming back to you, right? But that's the ego talking to you, telling you that they that you're the best thing that's ever happened to them, even if that is true. I'm not saying it is 100%. I'm saying even if it was true, don't let your ego play games with you. So just think about that. All right. Uh, a lot more videos coming. I got to explain certain things. I got to in some of my videos, I got to explain why it's a good thing to kind of get rid of your chakras. A lot of stuff coming. A lot of useful things coming. Comment on the video. Like the video. Subscribe. Peace.